In this tutorial, I'm going to share my top five websites that you can use to download free 3D models and use them in Rhino. Let's start. Hey guys, Dushan here. Before we start, if this is your first time here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel as we upload new tutorials each week on Rhino and Grasshopper and how to use these tools specifically for architecture. Let's start with website number five, 3D Model Heaven. This is the website that is designed by uh, Greg. If you remember, uh, in some of the previous tutorials, I mentioned this website, HDRI Heaven. This is another website that re I recommend because it has a lot of cool uh, HDRI images for your for your scenes. It's it's made by Greg. And also the third website is Texture Heaven. And this is like also 100% free textures. And I really believe that you should check, uh, check these guys out. And also if you can support them on Patreon. Let's come back to 3D Heaven. So uh, 3D Heaven is 100% free. Uh, you have the license to use these models in whatever project you want. And you also have a multi-format PBR uh, textures with different software uh, formats. So let's check out some of these models. Uh, there is of course pros and cons to every website. So uh, in my opinion, this website lacks the quantity. So it has very big quality of models. So these models are all uh, high quality and you can use them uh, for your scenes. However, we don't have a lot of, uh, the library is not that big. So you can see here, there's only 38 models, but you know, the models that you will find here are really, really uh, good, both uh, textured. And you can see here when we open it, you have the FBX format, you have the Blender format. And remember, if you want to use it with a Rhino, you want to use FBX format, so you have all of the textures. All right, so place number four goes for 3D SketchUp Warehouse. You probably all know that I really don't like SketchUp and I don't use it because I really think it's it's a very robust tool. But when it comes to SketchUp models, I really like the library that they provide because this is all open source and a lot of people are actually modeling and putting their models out here so that everybody else can, can use them. So uh, let's go here to all categories and let's go to architecture. Let's see what we can find. So here you see you have some basic models, you have sub subcategories that you can use if you want to make a little bit nicer search. So for example, let's see, office buildings, uh, gas stations, bridges. Okay, so if you go here and if you search for furniture, you may find full models that you can use for your for your scenes. And um, the good thing about this is that a lot of models come with uh, the textures applied. So you can simply download this and then uh, in the extended version of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how these textures can also work in, uh, in Rhino as well, how you can use them in Rhino. So you can see that we have a big collection of these models. Uh, I don't think that these models are super, you know, super uh, high quality. They are more like here, they're more going for the quantity instead of quality. So that doesn't mean, of course, that you cannot find good models. For example, I like this sofa here. It really looks real nice. So for example, maybe we can try uh, to, to play around with this one, but uh, you, you can get an idea of, of what are the things that you can use here in uh, 3D uh, warehouse for SketchUp. And here also you have the brands or their catalogs of their own furniture. So for example, if you click on one of these brands, you can see that they have their own models uh, so you can uh, use them uh, in your scenes. So in short, the pros of 3D warehouse uh, models is that, that this library is huge and you can really pick some good models. Uh, the drawback is that, of course, uh, they're not made directly for Rhino. So you would need to know a workflow on how to use them in Rhino and apply the materials. And of course, the quality of models is not the greatest, but that doesn't mean that you cannot find great models as well. Place number three goes to CG Trader. This is a platform where you will find a lot of cool, interesting 3D models. You can uh, sort them here, for example, by aircraft. You can sort them by, by architectural animals, exterior, interior. The, the quality of these models is quite high. Of course, the drawback is that they're not all free. You have a certain set of models that are free and certain set of models are paid. One cool thing is that you can actually sell your models here. You can sell your models. And you can you also have the freelance hub of this of this website where you can find even some jobs for 3D modeling if you're interested in that sort of thing. So now let's take a look and let's see this 3D model library that they have. So you can see here we have 3D print models. These are models that are ready for 3D printing. Uh, then we have PBR 3D models. These are the ones that have PBR textures applied to them. They're usually high quality. Of course, if you want to see if there is some free models, you can click on this button here and it will show you the models that are free. 
of course if you compare this free with these guys uh it's it's obvious difference but this is just to give you an idea that you can that you can also get free models for example there's also ability to find even you know cars uh, furniture for example this this chair is is quite nice so you can really use this in um, in your models always make sure to give credit to the creator one cool thing is that you also have low poly 3d models here which are used for big scenes so if you want to have big scenes and you want to apply some some basic uh, low poly models this is the selection that uh, you would take you can see that these models are quite uh, quite good quite nice the collection is great so I really think that uh, you should consider uh, checking these models out and trying to create your own model library and now if you want to just find all of the free models you can simply click here and now you can see we have some uh, we have for example full interior scene here we also have full interior scene here these are all free so you can use them there is even models of people here as you can see there is even uh, the model of, of ferrari enzo i think yes great so you can see that you can find really really nice models it's just a matter of you know taking some time to to, to dig through this collection and find find what you're looking for uh, of course one thing is that uh, you want to find fbx model but if you have also uh, 3ds max you can download uh, 3ds max and then you can use the v-ray scenes to export those and then import them in in uh, rhino so that's also a workflow that you can use all right so that's uh, cg trader definitely check it out and place number two goes to 3d sky 3d sky is a great collection of uh, 3d models i really like the way that they organize their libraries so you can see here on the bottom we have furniture and you have all of these elements that you can choose from you have bathroom child room lighting decoration other models textures architecture so you can really have nice nice organization of, of the of the search for example let's go to the sofa and once you click there you can really find high quality models here and the way that this works you have these pro models and you have free models so the pro models are uh, the models that you are that you're paying for so you need to buy them you need to buy credits so you have a pro account uh, and of course you can see the level of, of, of detail of these models uh, it, it's quite nice it's quite good so it's definitely recommended to check uh, the pro models if it's possible you can also see here price of each model and of course if you just want to check out the free ones you can click here and you have the option for the free models uh, you can see also like a lot of these models are made for v-ray so you can use also v-ray scenes to export it uh, to rhino so that's uh, that's that's great uh, to, to know and then of course if you want to find you know you also have the ability to f filter this by color so if you want certain uh, furniture of a certain color so for example here is uh, Mondini furniture. You also have the ability here to find some brands that are all providing their models. So for example, let's type Vitra and you will see that we'll have all of these Vitra chairs. If, if you go to free, you can also find some for free. So this is a great way to, to find those, those models and then, you know, try to make your own uh, libraries um, if you want to use this in your in your own scenes and one last thing is of course that you can also upload your own model and you can also make money from it if your models are good enough to have the pro criteria and number one goes to flyingarchitecture.com flying architecture is a visualization studio and all of their work is done in rhino this is one of the main reasons why i think this should be uh on number one of our list you can see that they also have scenes so you can see the scenes that they've done uh, both exteriors interiors you can really get a sense of the complexity of the models here and also the amount of details that they've put into the work i definitely advise you to check them out uh, you also have the library of course of materials and also the library of 3d models this is why we're here but let's just check first the materials so you can get, uh, get an idea of the textures so here you can see all the textures that you can get you also have the filter which are only for free so you can also get the free ones they also create some tutorials on rhino and also uh, they have a section for for photos this is where you will find a lot of cool photos that you can use as a backplate for your you know uh, compositions uh, when you're creating uh, visualizations they also have very cool articles on the making of all of these scenes and how uh, this should be done uh, in rhino with the other software so definitely check this out and now let's go to the models that's why we're here so click on show all and here you can see all of the models that are available you can see that they're divided quite nicely so you have the furniture and then you have some additional 
you know, beds, chairs, exterior, you can get an idea of the, uh, the amount of detail of these of these uh, models and of course you can filter only uh, free ones if you wish and then you will get a filter of all of the free models that you can use uh, for your scenes and yeah of course you have the the trees natural elements plants uh, which is always you know good to have in your outdoor scenes so definitely check these guys out since all of their work is done in rhino they deserve to be number one on our list today in the extended version of this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use various 3d models from our top five websites how to link their materials and i'm going to share a super useful tip on how you can automatically link materials in rhino using v-ray rendering engine on top of that you will get access to all of our extended tutorials and their project files the link is in the description if you'd like a structured step-by-step -step approach in learning Rhino and Grasshopper architectural presentation, animation, rendering. You can apply for our Rhino for Architects 2.0 course. First link in the description.